the cost of petrol just keeps going up. Not that long ago, we were talking about 91 hitting $3 a litre. Now it's almost impossible to find petrol under that. Even diesel is hitting never before seen prices. The cost of importing petrol is what's behind it. Importers recently paid a record high of $1.63 per litre for 91 and $1.66 for 95. Back in February, it would have cost around $111.60 to fill up a 40 litre tank of fuel. Now it costs on average $131.20. There is no cap on what we're the price of food to go to. So, you know, who knows, but I'd say um, I'm certainly keeping my tanks full because I think there's a more upward pressure at the moment than there is in the downward pressure. I suppose uh, week to week we're just seeing the, uh, the price incrementally increase and I, I don't, my advisors aren't telling me that's going to change anytime soon. Auckland prices continue to be some of the most expensive, as high as $3.32 in parts of the city this week. Tauranga's highest price, meanwhile, was much cheaper, just $3.14. Wellington was at around $3.28, and Invercargill came in at $3.15. Down south had the cheapest two at $2.98 a litre, only matched by one petrol station in Auckland. Costco. And with prices this good, it's no wonder Kiwis are lining up on the daily to grab a membership. I find it extremely hard to go anywhere else now. It's worth it. No, no, it's worth it. I usually get down a little bit low and come and fall right up. I find that probably the cost could be a little bit lower. We don't do a lot of carries, but yeah, we have saved each time we've used it. Yep. It's a shame that uh, New Zealand has to have an American company come into our country and um, give us cheaper fuel prices. Um, all for more competition. Yeah. And we have family in Oz and, and they're quite used to it. And so you'll recover that $60 in no time at all. So that's what we're hoping, you know. Diesel car drivers are also feeling the pinch. Some petrol stations had it priced just a few cents cheaper than 91. The government's done what it can to help by temporarily slashing the petrol excise duty and road user charge. At the May budget, they announced the duration of the three-month cut would be extended by another two months. This means the discount would be due to be dropped in August. But Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern wouldn't say whether the government would extend the discount again. We haven't been so blanket as to uh, as to make calls around what thresholds have to be met, just rather that we would keep, keep an ongoing watch on what is happening in the market and what's happening overall in New Zealand's context. Um, as well, you'll see that we're not the only ones in the same situation. In many countries it has been time limited because of the volatility, um, but also because it is, it is hundreds of millions that we're having to replace to ensure that we continue to invest uh, in projects that we've already committed to and for instance road safety which is also critical and that's what ultimately the excise pays for. Regardless of whether or not they do extend the help, petrol is set to stay pricey and something Kiwis will be carefully considering in their budgets for some time yet. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.